welcome back to my channel. Well, something different today. Um, I've realised now that with my um, viewers building up, I've got two different sorts of viewers now. I've got the people who love the Mazda Valleys and Draculas, and the people who love the uh, carnivorous plants. So, what I'm going to try and do is do separate videos. I don't want to start two channels. I certainly don't want to do that. What I'd like to do is do a video relating to the orchid greenhouse, which is Mazda Valleys, Draculas, Sologenes, and the cold cold growers. I'd like to do videos on my carnivorous plants in this temperate greenhouse where I grow everything from seed and the other greenhouse which I'm just setting up at the moment is going to be all my nepenthes so you can have a choice of what videos you want to watch but I've got to try and please everybody I can't just please um, the mazzy lovers because I'm one of the best mazzy lovers you're ever going to know um, but I thought it's time that I started doing things for everybody and getting it um, how it should be. So I'm a member of Facebook groups, um, Instagram, uh, the YouTube, uh, uh, what they're called, um, forums, the orchid forums, the carnivorous plant forums. And I started about a year ago, a year ago now, with these um, Venus fly traps, Dionia muscopulla. Uh, with my grandson Michael and it's quite an expensive hobby if you're going to keep buying them um, from reputable sellers so I decided that we'd grow from seed and I've grown a lot in this greenhouse from seed and I grow seed any time of year because I just put it on an eat bed no problem well anyway one of the viewers asked me if I've ever grown uh, King Sundew seeds the um, Argea um, I have grown it before, I haven't got one at the moment, um, and he asked, how do you grow it? Well, I'll show you how I grow it, I haven't got a problem showing people how I grow it here in the UK. I've watched a few videos on YouTube and everybody does it different, but I know my way works, so anybody watching this video hopefully will pick up how I grow uh, the King Sundew here in the UK from seed. and. Um, follow suit and have success because I have reasonable success with all my seeds. Um, if I look at some of these, um, these are what me and Michael grew last year, some small, some small Venus fly traps. They're all from seed, coming on now, about a year old now, so, you know, that's how you do it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set a table up, I'm going to show you the media I use, I'm going to show you how I, how I pot them up, how I put the seeds on and then um, I'll put them on a heat bed because normally you would grow um, the King Duck Sundew uh, summertime to early autumn at about 15 to 20 degrees well I can't get that temperature in this temperate greenhouse this time of year I think the most I can get is probably 7 or 10 during the day and probably dropping down to 7 at night so they have to go onto a heat bed People who follow the orchid house know that I've got a um, hotbed in there and I've also purchased a small hotbed for my um, conservatory so I can put some of these in and bring them on through the winter. But let's get cracking. I don't want to make these videos drag out and drag out. I want them to be straight to the point, get the message across, give you a few tips and let you get on with the rest of your day. So bear with me, I'm going to set everything up. I'll get the media in, I'll get the pots in, I'll get the sphagnum moss in, I'll get the seeds. We'll look at the seeds because one of the most important things is get your seeds from a reputable seller. Do not go to China for your seeds because you won't be getting um, Regia seeds from China, believe me. Um, and I'll show you what the seeds look like. We'll have a close up at the seeds, close up look at the seeds. And um, yeah. Well, let me get cracking and I hope you find it useful. So the first thing you need to decide is where you're going to get your seeds from. Um, there's a lot of people selling King Sundew seeds at the moment. Um, and there's a lot of people selling seeds what are in... I don't know what they are. But what you're looking for is, if I can show you, if I 
can get onto that one. I'll use a bit of a cocktail stick. So um, you see, they're like a half moon shape. So most of them are half moon shaped. That's what you're looking for if you want to grow regia from seed. I've got about 10 seeds here. I know these are good. I know these are this year's seeds. Um, the seller's uh, a, a good seller. Um, and he does look after his um, buyers. So the first thing you've got to make sure is you've got the right seeds before you start. And this is what they look like. So if yours don't look like a half moon there you have not got GS seeds so let's get on and let's get these potted up so you can see how I do it well here we go then viewers let's just explain what I've got here I've got without getting all my hands covered in crap again a 50-50 mix of perlite and moss peat I've also got some chopped long fibre sphagnum moss that's really really been chopped up I use that always tissue to wipe my hands because I'm going to get caked the seeds and I always use these type of trays um, you get these trays I've got quite a few I must have about 20 of these you get a lid make it a little propagator ideal for your seeds so let's get on and this is how I grow King Sundew seeds here in the UK and a method that actually works. Right, first of all, I put sphagnum in the bottom. That acts as a wicking agent to wick up the water and it also stops the peat and the perlite going through all the holes. So just put a small layer in the bottom of your pot. Whatever tray you decide to use, you can use a plant pot if you want. I always use these trays, make life easy for me. Then you want your mix. So I pack it in. This has all been washing down, it's all wet. Even the sphagnum moss is wet. Um, so it shouldn't need um, watering when you put the seeds in. Give it a fair amount. Don't forget, we're only waiting for the uh, germination of the seeds, and that shouldn't take us too long. Right, once you've got a decent amount of your mix inside your tray, clean your hands. <laughs> clean your hands because you're going to get caked. Got to clean his hands. Let's move that out of the way a bit. Move that moss out of the way now. We don't need that for a bit. Oh, we do. Right, can you still see it here? Right. What I'm going to do now is put a fine layer of moss on the top. Just a bit of this chopped sphagnum. All over. This encourages the seeds to germinate because it keeps them quite moist. But, uh, I find this way works wonders. Um, and I'm sure some of the other growers, their methods work as well. But if you're really thinking about growing from seed, um, give this method a go give this method a go because it does work now that's about it for moss I've covered more or less all the top and as I said it's only just to keep the uh, seeds moist until they actually germinate now this has worked before for me so I know it's not going to be a problem for anybody but I'll take the seeds now. Seeds you need to be careful of now because never do it outside because of one gush of wind and you've lost your seeds. 
Now I usually use a toothpick I add some water somewhere a jug of water have it facing me like that so I can see I just wet the toothpick I pick a seed up plunk it on and just make sure it's got contact with the moss I told you it's a two minute job three we've done four five six seven And that's how I grow the King Sundew from seed. You're not going to be able to see them now. But uh, then I give it a bit of a mist in, if this works, just to get the um, just to get the seeds damp. Put the top on. Leave them seeds, about four seeds left there. I don't need any more. I don't want uh, more than ten King Sundews. I can uh, swap them for other with other growers. So I hope you found that useful. I hope you're going to give them a go. Um, normally, that's on that cargo pass. Normally, um, the seeds take. I think it's about two to six weeks to germinate if you do it in the uh, summer and the um, early autumn but doing it this time of year it can take about four months but as I said now I'm going to put these on a heat bed I'll show you that I'll show you the new heat bed I'll put them on the heat bed and what I will do I'll do an update video as soon as these come through so you can see that my method and the way I grow um, Argea in the UK works and um, I've got a few more requests for certain other seeds and I'm going to have a go at them in a few weeks but one of them is taking the gamma from my pygmy, pygmy sundews I'll do that on a video and um, do you know what I forgot what the other one was what they asked me to do so I'll have to have a look what he wanted me to do and do that but I hope you found that useful I'm not going to drag on now I'm just going to get the hotbed now, put this on the hotbed so you can see it. Then we'll have a look at these, probably a month and a half, two months time. You'll see these coming through. But I, I can assure you that's a good way of growing um, the King Sundew. Okay, give a second. Well, here we have it then. It's a four tray hotbed. Um, this one is... I just use it in the conservatory just to get some of these trays started. As soon as they germinate, I bring them back in here and I stand them back in water. But for the first few weeks, they'll stay on this um, hotbed into the greenhouse. You can see I've labelled it up, I've put the date on top. I'm sure you can see that 10 seeds on the 23rd of October 2020. And as you can see, it holds four trays. So that is Riga, the King Sundew seeds planted during October in 2020. This plant grows naturally in South Africa. Um, the leaves can grow up to about 12 inches long. It's an amazing CP actually if you see it um, on some of the videos when it's catching its prey. It circles around the prey to digest it. 
Um, if you do get some seeds, viable seeds can last up to 12 months. So if you've got this year's seeds off a grower or he's got last year's seeds, if they've been kept in a fridge, then they're suitable to be used. So if you can get viable seeds, make sure you put them in your fridge to keep them cool. When you get these seeds, uh, no stratification is required. So don't start rubbing them between sandpaper or anything like that. They don't need that. Uh, the normal seed temperatures for uh, growing is um, between 15 and 20 degrees C. I'm sure I said that early on in the video, which is about 50 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. The seeds will require good lights once germinated. So you can either put them under lights once they've germinated or you can bring them back in the temperate greenhouse like I do and hope we get decent lighting. But once they uh, germinated, they'll grow on anyway. Uh, but if you want, you can use artificial lighting. Uh, I grow in a frost-free greenhouse. Um, they like full sun and stand in about one inch of water nearly all year. So as soon as these have germinated, I'll bring this back in, back in this greenhouse, put them in one of these trays where put them in these trays I'm sure you can see they've got some water in there and I'll leave them in there until such time as it's time for uh, moving on or replanting into the pots found that useful viewers um, I've got to do some other videos as I said coming up on carnivorous plants um, but if you enjoyed that video please give us a thumbs up a like and if you want to see more of these videos, please subscribe to the channel. The more the merrier, that's how I look at it. So, until next time viewers, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have an amazing success planting your um, Regia seeds. So until now, next time, bye for now, and thank you for watching. Bye!